Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Weißenburg. It is the second episode of this series and today we are going to build the city main hospital, the so-called St. Joseph Hospital, which is located near the main train station. So let's get started. Since this area is a very small and dense area, um, there were only a few buildings which um, were suit uh, suitable for this build uh, from the workshop and uh, I guess the best building was um, Prentice Women's Hospital which you can see on the right side of the uh, um, image now. It's by Boldly Building and also a vanilla medical, uh, medical laboratory on the left side and together they look uh, yeah very good for this dense area. Um, you also saw me using uh, the color changing tool to make them looking as one building. I also made this entrance road for the uh, hospital and also it continues to this parking area. First I wanted to place some parking garages from the workshop but none of them was uh, suitable for this uh, corner so I decided to make my own custom parking area like I did in the previous uh, episode in the old town. The technique is pretty the same but um, in this build I had some more difficulties with uh, two things. First thing, the black clipping on the road. Um, so I decided to make the parking area a little bit smaller uh, to do not clip into the roads uh, surrounding this area. The second difficulty was the terrain difference between the lower road and the upper road. So I decided to make uh, the whole building, the whole retaining walls, a little bit higher on the level of the the upper road, um, to, to make yeah like a look of of a real building and not like it's sunken on the ground. So yeah, in the end, I guess uh, this solution was was the best. Speaking about roads, uh, the roads I used, I was using the so-called Straße des 17. Juni by Ami Polizei Funk and uh, this road is located in Berlin. It's one of the most famous avenue in Berlin. And um, this road comes already with retaining walls so that saved me some props and also some notes. So yeah, good things. I guess it would be nice if more roads on the workshop uh, would come with their own retaining walls, but I think it will be a thing in the nearer future. So, moving on to the next part, I am building right now this little uh, shopping corner here, um, which totally makes sense because uh, the intersection here is uh, like one of the main intersections in the city. Uh, we have the hospital and later the train station and also um, uh, those big avenues uh, leading to the university and to the old town and so it makes sense to have like yeah a shopping area here in this little corner even if it's so dense i used some uh, buildings from the workshop and also one vanilla building and you saw me uh, a little while ago using prop it up to remove all those ugly props on this building and that's one thing I can highly recommend uh, all of you to search through all the vanilla buildings and um, yeah, look which building is uh, fitting your project. In this case, this uh, shopping uh, building, it fits totally. So why not using it? Because it's vanilla? Why not? So I decorated uh, with some trees and bushes uh, the entrance of the hospital. And now I'm building an uh, ambulance entrance, emergency entrance uh, for the hospital on this little road. And I also used um, some German 
uh, ambulances. And yeah, it's so cool that so many creators uh, are creating German uh, service vehicles and also those German uh, street signs I used in a minute ago. That's really cool and it helps uh, my project uh, a lot. Now I'm making or I, I'm combining all those uh, individual boutiques and shops to one building on the corner by using those retaining walls and um, yeah also ploppable asphalt on the top and you will see me later using some uh, AC units uh, I will place on the top and on the side and also some stains and cracks on the top of the roof um, so it looks more realistic. But uh, that's pretty much for this part of the time lapse and my commentary. I will leave you now with uh, the last seconds of this commentary and I will be back later. See you then. I'm back, so now you can see me placing uh, like those retaining walls and uh, the reason is I wanted to cover up all this ugly stuff underneath it uh, because uh, of the terrain differences uh, I had some glitches and not, not glitches but uh, parts of the curbs uh, which come with the vanilla building um, they are sinking in the ground and so I decided the, the best thing um, was to remove all the props and um, to cover it up with a terrace-like um, elevation. And for this um, I used Titan's decals. Uh, he made them, I guess, for his train station. 
and uh, they fit perfectly because they have the same color as um, the hospitals and yeah just perfect now I am placing those retaining walls or I decided to keep this retaining wall because it's the best you can do on a steep uh, steep cliff like this just to cover it up with a um, not straight retaining wall but uh, with yeah like with a, a little bit of an angle to make it more stable uh, stable I guess and um, now I'm detailing the stairs and I decided to make like kind of giant uh, curbs around it uh, also for stabilization and um, yeah just placed some ploppable grass on the top um, I guess prop count is uh, unnecessary on this <laughs> part as you can see there are again some black glitches I really hope the game will the developers will change this in the nearer future because it's so painful to go around those glitches. I tried ploppable asphalt, but then I realized uh, the straight was not um, flat. It was like on a little slope. And uh, then I decided just to cover it up with trees and it works totally fine. You won't see them anymore. So now I'm detailing this little recreation park for patients of the hospital just some basic detail working some roads and also some curbs and um, then I placed some mosey rocks and trees and also I used my um, my fall grass texture uh, which is really helpful to make this area look more realistic but I guess um, that's all for now and I will leave you with the rest of this time lapse. Bye bye. Okay guys, while I'm finishing this uh, stairway to the hospital, 
we are reaching the end of today's episode. It was a little bit shorter than the last one. Um, yeah, and I think I will go for future episodes for a length uh, of 15 uh, until 25 minutes. So we will have shorter episodes, uh, but bring in some kind of schedule uh, to my video upload. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for this. And if you liked this video, uh, make sure you leave a like and also you subscribe to my channel. And if you do like this video, also follow me on Twitter and make sure you join the Discord server. Uh, both will be linked uh, on my uh, channel on YouTube. And yeah, finally I want to thank you and... I see you in the next one. Take care.